This video coming up is going to be number three of street level promotions. And this is a really unique one. You may not have ever heard or seen something like this that we have tried with salons, several salons. And you're going to hang in there and get this one because it's interesting and you can create a lot of scenarios around it. So stay tuned. Hello tribe, welcome to the Thirsty Warrior. If you've just joined us, I'm Gary Alquist. I wanna welcome you. And on this video today, we are doing a playlist, which is a series of videos on a particular topic. This one is street level promotions. Now, I wanna keep in context to how we started with the first one that we did. And that is, when you go to Google Maps, you can do a satellite view down on your area you can zoom in and do a neighborhood view. It gets tighter on the map. You can go down local to a, the neighborhood and you can click the little picture in the lower left-hand corner and you get a street level view, which literally you see the building, you see, you can look right in the windows almost of your particular location. Now, street level promotion is what I call grassroots marketing or grassroots promotion where you're reaching out into your community or your shopping center, your plaza, to create new traffic into your business. In the first video, recall that we did the mascot technique or tactic. In the second video, we did the poser tactic. And this one is the ping pong ball drop. <laughs> it's almost a tongue twister. <laughs> and the ping pong ball drop is very interesting. It's a lot of fun. And how it works is simply, you want to recruit the other merchants in your shopping center and you want to explain what you're doing and they will participate and you buy 250 ping pong balls. You can buy them on bulk on uh, Amazon, like you can buy everything and you buy these ping pong balls and what the merchants do is you sell them ping pong balls and you uh, affix a dollar amount per ping pong ball, because all you're trying to do is recover your cost. And you explain the promotion is going to be on a particular Sunday afternoon, we're going to promote it. We're going to drop ping pong balls down on the parking lot. And these people that have come are going to start grabbing and snatching up these ping pong balls. Now, each of us merchants are going to have an allocated number of ping pong balls and you're going to have a number on it that's going to represent your business. And when these people start grabbing them up, they'll look at the numbers and you'll have a little menu that you'll print up with the number that's associated with the name of the business and what is being offered. Now, the trick on this is for you because you're organizing it. If, for instance, you got, um, let's say, 250 ping pong balls, you want to keep a third of those ping pong balls or 40% of those ping pong balls are you. And then you're dividing the balance up, the 75% or the 60% left over, amongst the other merchants. Now for you, what I want you to do is consider when you, and you can get Avery labels, they have little circular labels that you can print. You just print on them the number for the business. You're going to be number one. And I want you to come up with three or four gift certificates or, or percentage off on a new service. So it could be like 1-1 one -one on this little sticker and you're going to put it on so many balls. 1-2 will be a different discount or coupon or a different service. And you'll put it on a few number of balls. And you'll do that up to like five. You want to have some retail in it also. It could be 10% off, 20%, 25% off on retail. So you'll have a couple of balls for each one of those promotions. Now, <clears throat> here's how you want to set it up. This is only for new clients. People who don't come to your salon are participating in this. The way you promote it is you get your clientele to come to the event and they're going to get a gift certificate for doing this if they bring two or three of their lady friends to this event. 
So you know they're bringing people who do not come to the salon. Now the client doesn't participate in it, but they're getting a reward of let's say a $25 gift certificate off on services because they already come to you. So they're getting some value. They're bringing some friends. They're all going to have fun. And then you want to go out and you want to do a press release and you want to send it to the TV, local TV stations, the radio stations, and you want to find some local bloggers that are in your particular city or town. You want to reach out to some vloggers, which are video bloggers that are going to come with their videos. Try to get as much coverage that way as possible. Uh, we did it with one salon. They had a, a local TV station came and they, they filmed the whole thing and announced right from the lot. We're here at such and such a shopping center and we've got five merchants involved and they're giving back to this local neighborhood because of uh, whatever it was at the time. In your case, it could be coming out of this virus uh, chaos that we've come through and people have lost their jobs and now they're just getting back to work again. And I mean, it's newsworthy. That's why people will cover you if it's newsworthy. They're not going to cover it if you say, oh, well, we're trying to get new clients. No, if you reach out and you're doing it for a noble cause to help other citizens in your community, you can get some coverage. Try to have it on a Sunday afternoon as opposed to a Saturday because Saturday can be a busy day and the parking lot is going to be full. Get in touch with your landlord. Make sure that you're going to be able to rope off the certain part of the parking lot that's going to house 100 or so women that are going to come to this event. And then you want to solicit somebody. Oh, for instance, uh, check out the fire department. See if they'll bring a hook and ladder over so that you can use the ladder. Somebody climbs up. You've got all these ping pong balls and big 32 gallon garbage bags. They're going to stand up there and dump them out all over the people below. And they don't have to be up high at all. You know, 20 feet above the heads of the people is more than adequate. Or you might be able to get the local uh, telephone company or energy company that have those, you know, those bucket, basket, bucket things they use to go up to the wires. They may come and tell them what you're doing and tell them we're going to put you on as a sponsor. So they're happy and fire departments love to show off their trucks because it promotes what they do. This is fun. And you can sit with your team and strategize all kinds of variations on it. So that's the ping pong ball drop. So this is number three in our playlist of street level promotions. I'm going to give you a few more, but here's what I'd like you to do. Would you please down in the description, if you've done something that worked really well and you can have some kind of stats about it, like it, it drew you 50 new clients, something that you did, put it in the description so I can share it with other members of the tribe. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. I would love to have you join the tribe and subscribe, ding the notification bell, and we'll let you know the next video comes out. And make sure that you do this in the description to help us build a big library of unique and creative promotions that will help all the members of our tribe. Stay tuned for some great information coming up.